Hi, Lisa Stedman here for my 30 Days of Brilliance video series. Are you hiding in your business? Do you have something extraordinary to share with the world, that woohoo within that you want to embody and express and share with the masses? And yet are you hiding? Are you afraid of being seen? Are you afraid of being heard? Are you afraid of being judged or criticized or ridiculed or in some way made to be wrong? I've got to tell you, this is a common issue for women in business. We know we're here to do something great, and yet there's a fear about being seen. I work with a lot of my clients on this because if we fear being seen, our message isn't going to reach the people who need it because on some level our energy is off. So what do you need to do to get comfortable being seen, heard, and judged, criticized, and celebrated? The truth is people criticize me all the time. It's not my job to care. People criticize Oprah. Do you think Oprah cares? Do you think Oprah would have gotten to where Oprah's gotten in her life had she let those naysayers from 25 years ago slow her down? Oprah, it's not her job to care and it's not your job to care what your critics are saying either. That is not up to us. That is their own stuff they are working out. So I want to give you a reframe about being seen and heard. This was really helpful for me. I used to hide behind my books. I was like, yeah, I'm a best-selling author, here are my books, and I would hold them up in front of my face, and it was scary to lead with Lisa and the woohoo. And then one day, I was giving a workshop, and everyone at the workshop went out to lunch together. So the facilitators and the participants went out to lunch together. And I had the pleasure of sitting across from this beautiful woman named Joy, and Joy proceeded to describe for me visually how she watches my videos. And I'm going to demonstrate here. So Joy and I are sitting across from each other like I'm facing the camera. And Joy said, Lisa, when I watch your videos, this is what I do. I clear my desk, because she's watching them at work. I turn up my speakers. I make sure that all of my work is done for the day. And I make sure that nobody's around to disturb me. And then I get comfortable in my chair and I press play. And it was so humbling to hear and see and watch this woman describe how she watched my videos. Now, I'll be honest, I wasn't giving a lot of thought to my videos because it was one of those things I was rushing in between like a client or a deadline. And now I take time with my videos because I know that there are hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of women just like Joy who will give me her undivided time and attention and I, it's my job to give her the same. Now, if I was afraid of being seen and heard, I couldn't reach joy. I couldn't reach the millions of other women like joy. So think about the millions of people out there who need you, who need your message, who need whatever it is that your innate greatness is, the embodiment of your brilliance. They need you. And if you keep playing small, if you keep hiding, if you keep lurking in the shadows, they'll never find you, they'll never get healed, or they'll find someone else to do it and it won't be the same. That would be a shame. So I invite you today to step out from the shadows and into your full embodiment of your brilliance and share it with the world. Woohoo! Good luck and please share how you're feeling about this particular challenge. I know it's tough on my blog, 30daysofbrilliance.com.